So I'm willing to bet some money that you guys asked for this one. And the beautiful part is if you didn't ask for this one, you won't hear me make this bet. So I win either way. All right, so the limit as x approaches infinity, we have x on top and square root of x squared plus 1 on the bottom. All right, well, they're both going to infinity, so let's take the derivative. On top, we get 1. On the bottom, if it's helpful, rewrite this as to the 1 half, and you have to use the chain rule. Derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. But before we do anything else, let's go ahead and simplify. 1 half times 2x is just x. And this piece right here can move up top, and we can change the exponent back to a 1 half, which if you look closely is actually just the reverse of what we started with. We had x on top and square root of x squared plus 1 on the bottom. Now we have square root of x squared plus 1 on top and x on the bottom and we still have an indeterminate form. Well, if we take the derivative again, you'll actually find that you end up right back where you started. So you may be thinking, well, this isn't going to work. In, in some senses, you're right. Um, but there's two ways you can go about this. One is to remember the shortcuts we talked about. The powers are really the same on top. If you think about Tebow, the powers are really the same on top and bottom. Because once you square root that x squared on the bottom in the original problem, you just have the same power, and then you just use the coefficient 1 over 1. An even more clever way to think about it is to consider this. We know based on L'Hopital that the limit of our original one has to be equal to the limit of this one once we've taken the derivative. So think carefully about what number can you flip upside down, and it's still the same number. The only one that you can get there for that is obviously 1. So that's what our answer is. Since you get the same limit, whether it's right side up or upside down, in other words, if you flip it over or take the reciprocal, you still get the same answer. The only one that works for is 1.